Welcome back everyone, Criminal Archer here, time for some more Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. So our little buddy here has just successfully put uh, meat on to smoke for the first time. So that's pretty cool. I also want to come over here and try and find wherever our extra bones are and put them into the uh, charcoal smoker that's outside. So let's go over here. Um, want to remove this thing here. Uh, all around please. But the, I told you to get rid of the filter. There you go. Um, but I will search for bones. That is not what I want. Okay. Alright, so maybe it's down a little bit more. I know we have some bones. They keep coming up in, in when I'm like cooking and stuff. Just the question is, where are they? Tainted bones. There we go. Fine. This is my inventory. Pick up 24 tainted bones. Alright, so these come down here. And they get put in here. Where are you? There they are. Activate charcoal kiln. Boom. No. That's not what I wanted to do. Kiln is empty. Shouldn't be. Didn't I just drop bones in it? I did not. Okay. Act there we go. Okay. Different button than I thought it was supposed to be. Let's put our lettuce seeds here. Nope, not the hunting knife. Lettuce seeds. Day 7 of Autumn, day 15 days, is that right? I think they're 15 day seasons. Something is only 3 days, meat pies, let's eat those. I wish I could sort this, I wonder if you can sort this by how long until it rots. I'm gonna get full. We haven't been full in a while. I think we'll be okay in terms of um, surviving. Like I don't, I, I don't, I don't think we'll have too much trouble with winter. But I guess we don't know for sure. Alright, so we're tired, we're not dead tired. I would kind of like to try and work on our reading a little bit. First aid skill to two, maybe. Tailoring to one. I thought our tailoring was one. Oh, no, yeah, it is. Right. Yellow. Yellow means it's just recipes. I gotta remember that. Fabrication to six. Fabrication to five. It takes the least amount of time to read. 52 minutes. 39, 32. 39, 23. Let's read this book for a little bit. Read until you gain a level. It's not actually going to be the case. Oh, actually it will. Never mind. There you go. And on that, we're going to go to sleep. Yes, sleep. To look in the morning, where whenever it is we wake up. It's not necessarily going to be the morning. Um, what, if anything, we have... Oh, I left the door open last night. <laughs> That's a bad idea. Did we gain any good recipes? Bow stabilizer. Don't we have one of these already? Composite bow. That's something we should probably do. Bow made from multiple materials increasing energy efficiency. Complicated to make, but stronger than an all-wood short bow. 
Is it stronger than an all wood longbow? Because <laughs> that's my real question. Homemade half pike? Long. Okay, we don't know how to make a longbow. Let me take a look at our longbow real quick. Um, looks like we have an arrow rest on it, so that's, we don't have the bow stabilizer though, I don't think. Is it page down to go down? Yeah, we have an arrow rest, but not a bow stabilizer. Alright, so I need, damage is 10 plus 4, whereas short composite bows is... Five? Is that right? So I guess we don't... We can also make a repeating crossbow. Grady or accuracy. Big question for me right now is whether or not we've um, learned to make Shoulder strap, pistol bayonet. Any better um, ammos? Field point arrow, field point arrow. This is a damage of six. Damage of four, so these field point Useful for hunting small wood as last ditch defense against. So they're not good for. I don't know. I'm having trouble figuring this out here. Seemingly sturdier than other windows. It has a high fire. Good dancer. So I feel like they need the heavy fire wooden arrows. Is what we want. So we just have these right now, right? So might as well get the heavy ones, which are a little bit. Oh, sharpened metal arrows. I don't know. Back holster. I feel like we need an ankle sheath for our combat knife. Let me get a fire going here. Let me get rid of this bone filter first. That's the brazier. That's the brazier. There we go. Two by fours. Lighter. Alright. So, things I want. Bow stabilizer. I also want... I've already forgotten the other thing I want. Damn it! <laughs> oh, ankle sheath. That's right. That's what I want. There's the plant fiber. Getting warm sitting next to the fire, but that's okay. Nope. I feel like these heavy, heavy fired or hardened arrows are probably better than the ones we have. But I'll wait until we're mostly done. Like we've mostly used up the arrows we have from from breakage before I worry about it too much. Large quiver. Oh, we could do the large quiver now. Let's hold sixty rounds instead of the twenty that we have right now. Might do that in a second. Gambezon? What is this? Thick jacket of quilted fabric designed to be worn underneath mail or... Oh, so it's for if you're using 
chain mail and stuff. No, I didn't I actually didn't want that. I was trying to go this way. Alright. I don't see anything there I want off the top of my head. I think we're doing okay. Bone armor armor boots, leather armor boots. Sleeping bag. Survivor head torch. Just trying to find things that look like they're new that might be useful for us here. Jumper cables. Shelter kits. Well, you know what I want to see is, let me go back to armor here. Do I have... Hey, that's ankle holster. Any other kind of holsters? Because I would like to... carry a gun with us, even if we don't use it very often. Small pistol. Let's go ahead and make that. If we don't use it, we don't use it. It's fine. Alright. Alright, so we wear... Oh, that's wheeled. Wear ankle holster. Wear the ankle sheath. I assume those are going on different legs. Let's activate our ankle, hole, ankle sheath. The hunting knife in it. And let me go over to our gun closet. Glock 22, the full set. This is a handgun as well. This is a handgun. All right, let me take that. All right, apparently the, only the Glock 22 fits it. All right, so let me drop this other gun that I just picked up on for then. All right, so now we have an ankle holster with a gun in it. If, if it becomes an issue, if it becomes a situation where we need to um, need to fight. Uh, Nope, not that. We'll be okay. I don't need this, don't need this. Don't need this. Alright. Um, let's eat. Yeah. Alright, we'll eat some old pears since they're about to go off. Take a lot of food to. There we go. Finally. My main goal for today, by the way, as soon as we get done with this, which we just did. Let me open the door here, actually. Actually, I need to do this. Hang on. There we go. Let's uh, drop over this way. This gallon jug. Hopefully, that works. Actually, here, take down this, yes. Alright, activate. I need to put this bow, bow stabilizer. Doesn't have a slot for this. Alright, apparently the other thing that I'm already having, I already have on it is taking up that spot. That's fine. All right, so the goal I want to do today is that over here, essentially right here, there's a RV, a luxury RV that we've been able to see from a distance but have not actually been able to approach that I would like to go and um, get. 
Is that an alarm? Is that my alarm clock? Apparently, I dropped it somewhere. Oh, it's 6:24. All right, it's gonna get dark on us, which is annoying. By the time we get over there, it's gonna be dark. Yep, here it comes. That's fine. We can make it work. Assuming we don't run into anything nasty. Too nasty. I'm gonna deal with a little nasty. I actually feel a little bit better now that we have that um, Glock on our ankle. That we... That what we can deal with is probably a little bit easier than it was before. But I mean, if that, if that RV is functional, that'll be amazing. Um, if it's not functional, we can maybe strip it for stuff or make it functional, but we're gonna have to clear the area out. All right, hang on. It's starting to rain on us. But we're probably gonna have to fight for it a little bit, is my um, assumption. Because there were ants and stuff around. Is that an arrow? No. It's a glow stick. So like right here? There it is. Examine vehicle. Dented. Enough. It has diesel. It has battery. Its engine is not faulty. Oh my god. <laughs> we can actually drive this thing. <clears throat> Most damaged is its security system, which who the hell cares about that? Has a working mini fridge. Has a washing machine. Oh, I want this so badly. means we're gonna have to fight whatever's around here. Who's making all that racket? Come on out, zombie child. Also you apparently shady zombie. I don't know who's more dangerous here. Smash, smash. It's candy. Yeah, nothing I want. Okay. Alright, before I worry about that, can I get into this building? Crowbar. So what is this store actually? This is a museum. Okay. Display case is firmly sealed. Can I see what's in it? There's a long sword. If that's not um, a replica, that is probably pretty good. Stone hammer. Matchbook I'll take. Matchbook I'll take. French made out hat. Mm, fancy. There's nothing in here. What is this? What is this? Aurorio. I don't know what that is. Armored gauntlets. Alright, we might have to f break our way into this stuff too. <laughs> backpack. I'm gonna take that backpack. Because you never know when you're gonna need another backpack. Sounded like there was somebody in that back room. Is it a crown? Golden crown. Could be very fancy. Colt. M1860. Southwest. Oh, that's this down here. Alright, let me smash this. Budget steel. Okay, it's a replica. Whatever, I'm gonna take it anyways.
Ornamental suit of Japanese armor. What was this? Armored gauntlets, that's right. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, hello, zombie. Can't quite reach you yet. Um, hang on. Let's do... Oh, I can't get him. Well, I could smash him at least. Alright, so you set off an alarm by coming at, coming out of here. What is this? Two-way radio? Um, I will unload. I'll take the batteries from that. Alright, so I'm sort of bummed that that long, store, long sword is not, um actually useful crack pipe stone hammer iron shod quarter staff let's take a look at that seems fancy all right can i drop anything to make that fit Because to be honest, the, the longsword's going to be, will actually still function, it's just going to break and you can't repair it. It's basically the way it works. Let me go grab our wheelbarrow. I'm gonna actually going to drop, well, let's drop the, uh, let's drop the gauntlets and the longsword in there. We're gonna have to leave. We're gonna have to leave the cart behind, because I'm gonna try and take this RV with us. Assuming it actually starts. Because I don't think we can take the, I don't think we can take the uh, cart into the RV. But that's okay. Glass of Chardonnay, bottle of Chardonnay cold. Look at that. All right, let me just drop this. Drop this. And we'll drop. Actually, I don't want to drop that in case I have to come back. I mean, in case I have to like. Get items. Oh, the hide. I forgot about the hide. Oh, we're actually carrying all this junk that we don't need to be carrying right now. All right, give me the long sword. All right, let's see if we can make this thing work. I'm worried about trying to drive this thing because I've never driven something this size in this game. And I'm not particularly good at driving in this game. Is there space to back up? Looks like there is enough, at least some space to back up. All right. Engine trails to start. Starts up, all right. Hear a beep. So if I want to turn that, I want to go that way. Nope. Nope. Alright, I guess we're turning around this way. Why can't I turn all the way around? No, 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 back up. So, I don't hear, know why I hear something that sounds like shooting going on. So, controls this way? So, 
Stop driving. Disable. Remember vehicle position. Well, I do want to remember the vehicle position. Control individual engines? No. Alright, apparently, it seems, there is no... There is no headlights on this thing. Nope, nope. Sorry, I'm a terrible driver. There we go. And we're off. Okay. Let's not go this fast, huh? Slow down a little bit. I'm driving through the toxic waste, I think. <laughs> okay, and we're off. Woo, that was scary. Hopefully this thing doesn't die on me. Sorry, it's kind of a kind of a, a little bit of a mind reorganization here when you're trying to think about directions. Um, let's slow down quite a lot. Why do we keep gaining speed? I don't want to gain speed. I'm happy to drive very slowly while I figure out what's going on. <laughs> Alright, where am I right now? Just passing... I'm not even close to the campsite, actually. Alright, close. <laughs> oh, I'm worried about crashing this thing because this thing is a, a huge, a huge prize for us if we can actually make it home with it without killing ourselves. Hoping running over these shrubs is not doing that much damage to the car. I might just park it in Bridgeport and not try and take it all the way home. Wait until the daytime to figure out what's going on. In fact, you know what? I'm actually just going to park it here. I got it out of danger. Which is what I really care about here. Stop driving. What do we have here? A pack of cigarettes. So we have a working refrigerator. We have a bedroom. Downfilled blanket. Pillow. What is this? Fire large fire extinguisher. Oh, look at this. It's a thing of beauty. It's got solar panels. All right, it's got some clean water in it, which is cool. Dented. So we're going to have to spend some time essentially repairing this thing and probably upgrading it is one of the things that we're going to have to do here. But we're going to need a welder for basically any of that. And uh, one of our one of the diesel tanks is um is in bad shape. Yeah, glare protection and a welder. So we're leaking diesel. How are the solar panels? Solar panels panels are mostly in good shape. All right, let's actually go back. I'm actually gonna go back and see if we can get our wheelbarrow back. I think that shooting noise was the um, was a uh, the soldier ants that we knew were in the area. I think they were shooting acid at us. Whoa! Oh, oh, don't walk into that. Oh, 
Oh, yep, something was shooting acid at me. Acidic soldier, yep. Run, please. Grab. Alright, yeah, we're just gonna get out of here. Uh, that's fine, whatever. Yeah, I don't care about you either. All right, sounds like the ants and the in the uh, other guy are in a fight now. Oh, there was a back room. There was a back room to this place we didn't go into. Oh well. Let's not push our luck here. Have some chocolate candies. It's been a big night. Yeah, so we we got that that long sword. Whoop. That long sword we found, which I think is in the truck somewhere at this point, um, is budget steel. Which my understanding is that that is because of another game that I played where I found a a Zweihander that was budget steel. Is that it's essentially a replica, and they'll work, but they don't work for very long. Eventually, they break pretty easily. I have that in my inventory now. Yeah. So like it's a you know it's a ten bash thirty cut which is pretty good, but because it's budget steel it won't last and you can't repair it. So, as you can imagine, that's a bit of an issue. All right, what time is it? It's eleven fifty. Yeah, it's not going to be daytime anytime soon. So let's. Is that um? Where is that? This is what I'm interested in. Ornamental suit of Japanese samurai armor. That's got to be better than what we're wearing, right? Like, if I go into this menu, on our torso we're wearing a duster, quiver, hoodie. Yeah, it's got to be. We're gonna. I think we're gonna have to start wearing that, almost certainly. But let's. Um, why can't I do that? Grab. Grab. Why am I having impossible? Why can't I grab anything? Oh, caps lock was on. So we'll leave that. We'll leave that there for now. We'll bring it back in the daytime when I can actually see. Cause it, it seems to be. It, it looks like it doesn't have any headlights right now. Cold. Okay, things are starting to get cold. That's potentially an issue. What was that? It's just stuff. Okay. Take the bones. Yes. Alright, so let's take a look at the smoker. How's that doing? Spec smoking rack. Reload. Insert food for smoking. Reload with charcoal. Sure. Let's put all that charcoal in there. So, I assume that that's working. <laughs> it's not something I've used before, so. Alright, so, let me put this on. Where? 
Torso is very encumbered. Yes, we're gonna try and fix that a little bit here. Uh, what was the button I wanted? This one? Yeah. Well, first of all, this needs to go there. But our torso is real bad. Now let me drop let me drop the longbow, which we should have done a long time ago, while we were fighting. And double check our torso encumbrance here. So it's not terrible here. It's a 13. I'd like to keep it below 30. But I don't think it's too bad. But our like our, our protection is a lot higher than it used to be. Nothing on our eyes. Seems like that arm guards should be on the outside here. So wait, these things cover our hands? Huh. Pull this out to the outside a little bit here. That's okay. Yeah, so our torso encumbrance. I see. I don't. I still don't really know exactly how to read torso encumbrance. Melee attack rolls minus forty-five percent. Dodge skill minus four. All right. So if I drop the duster. How does that work out for us? It's better. I guess it's just the armor is just encumbering. Is just the the moral of the story. Look, I'm looking pretty cool. I gotta say, I'm digging the look. All right. Well, I'm gonna stop here for today. I'll see you guys next time.